Hey Aries, what's up? So we're gonna be looking into the truth. Um, this is a love reading, so make sure you check your Venus sign as well as your sun sign if you wanna check your rising, your moon, all of that. Go right ahead, okay? Um, but this is general, so it may or may not resonate, but I do hope that it does. Um, yeah, if you would like a personal reading, though, all that information will be in the description box below. I have already shuffled the cards, so we're just going to get right into it, okay? So, we have the Six of Cups and the Magician card. We have the Justice card in reverse with the Three of Wands reversed. We have the Death card and the Three of Cups in reverse. Death card in reverse and the Three of Cups in reverse, okay? We got the Wheel of Fortune and the Princess of Swords in reverse. Or sorry, the Wheel of Fortune is re in reverse and the Princess of Swords is upright. Like, excuse me, I just got off work. Um, and then we got the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, so on the table so far, we have Scorpio, we have Aries, and we have Gemini. Okay, and we also have Libra. Um, so let's see what's going on. What's this magician card with the Six of Cups, please? We have the Five of Cups. Now, Aries, this is coming up as your energy here, and it's showing that you are trying your hardest to really reconcile something with someone you are currently dealing with. It feels like maybe you and this person um, have broken up, or um, y'all broke up, or something transpired, and you're just trying to make it work. Okay, I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to make it work because you feel as though it's you've already lost a lot. You've already invested a lot into this. So you don't want to start all over with someone new and you just want the, what you put into it to work out on your behalf. Um, on the other hand, though, the other person and again, this could go vice versa. It doesn't have to be um, you. It could be the other person. Okay, this is general. Keep that in mind. All right, um, we got the Justice card and the Three of Wands in reverse. So I feel like this person is not really being honest with you. Um, they don't really care or really want to make this work. I'm just going to be completely honest with y'all. I feel like they just want things to stay the way they are or the way that they have been. If this is a continuing situation. Um why is the three of wands in reverse? Okay. Four of cups in reverse. Give me some more clarity. What's this justice card in reverse the bro? We got the world card. So they don't want things to end with you, but they don't want what you want, basically, is what I'm getting. Now, the mutual energies. We got the death card in reverse with the three of cups. So let's get some more clarity on that. We got the full card. This is Aquarius. Um, it's like you guys both don't want this to end. Um, give me some more clarity, please. Lower the card of Okay, I got the Eight of Cups though. Um, well, that's confusing. Aries, I feel like for you, it's that you want to walk away from the pain and the hardship and the struggle of the situation and move into something new, like a clean slate. You want a fresh start with this person. You want things to work out. Um, and I feel like on their behalf, they want the emotions and all of that to go and they don't want it to end and they just want it to be what it is and i feel like this is someone who um has or wants multiple persons so they're kind of focused on that like they don't want it to end with you but they don't want to give up what they have going on that's affecting the um the situation here Okay, now the truth is, Aries, is that you need to just accept this situation for what it is. Like, step out of your emotions for a little bit and really look at it 
at an analogical standpoint and really look at the situation and assess the situation and really ask yourself based off of how this person is moving, how this person has been moving, um, this person's actions, is it really showing that there's potential for this to move forward into something good? Because you got the will of fortune in reverse. So I don't think what you want out of this situation is going to come from this person. It's going to come from someone else. So I think you kind of just have to take that insight and move on with it, basically, is what I'm getting. Um, give me more clarity. Yeah, it's time to get out of your head about it. It's time to stop isolating yourself, holding yourself back from other opportunities, other people. And start moving into something new, okay? Um, now, I don't feel like you just jump into something new. I feel like you should assess, reevaluate, look at some things, assess some things, pick up the lessons from the situation, um, give yourself the time that you need. But I think you need to start moving into that um, instead of trying to move further with this person because it's, it's not giving that. I'm so sorry. What's the... Um, it's too many cards. What's the Knight of Swords in reverse with the Eight of Swords in reverse? We got the Princess of Pentacles. So Aries, I feel like you will. I feel like at some point you'll get out of the blindfolds and you'll see the situation for what it really is. Um, and I feel like communication will cease to exist between you and this person and you'll be moving into something new. Something that's going to be more stable, more sturdy, um, more better for you something that's actually going to give you something in turn um i'm just curious what this person's feelings are towards you and like what their intentions are just to get some more clarity and i'm going to pull your advice and then we are all finished. okay what is this person's feelings towards the areas what are their intentions towards the areas and what is the areas Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Wands. We have the Page, or sorry, the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. And then we have the King of Swords and the Hermit card in reverse. So, let's clarify. What's the Knight of Swords with the Ace of Wands, please? And thank you. Just want to clarify it, please. The Knight of Wands. Give me some more clarity. We got the two of cups. So I, with these two cards alone, I feel like this person is not interested in an actual committed relationship with you. I feel like they feel as though you're fun. Um, and I feel like they kind of view you as someone where they deal with you for a certain amount of time because it's fun. It works until you guys kind of branch off onto two different pages where you want something more um committed something more stable something more faithful and this person wants the complete opposite and so they kind of just like lose interest and then they regain interest and lose it and regain it but i feel like they only really lose interest because you guys want two different things so they kind of just drift off because of that um What's the Ace of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands? What these Knight cards is giving very in and out, fast, like... What's the Ace of Pentacles, please? Give me one clarifier. We got the Four of Wands. So... Um, I'm feeling as though this person, their intentions are to be in and out with you, but I feel like at some point they do want to have something more stable or it's something that they think about the possibility of like, maybe one day I'll be ready to settle down or maybe one day I'll be ready to have something more serious or to abide by the boundaries or to abide by your wants, Aries. Um, but I feel like right now their intentions are just to be in and out and just leave it as something more fun with a little bit of stability in it at the same time. Um, so kind of like playing house, but not actually doing house, if you know what I'm saying. 
Um, now what's this King of Swords and the Her Hermit? So we have Virgo with this. Um, I feel like really your advice is, yeah, you got the seven of wands in reverse. So stop fighting this. Stop trying to force it. Stop trying to defend the narrative um, in reference to what you want. Stop trying to convince this person. Just take some time and, like I said, evaluate it. Look from look at it from a logical perspective. Um, I feel like this is something that needs to be cut off because, again, you want something completely different and this person wants something completely different. So you should respect that and you should respect your wishes and your wants and your desires and move and, and actually get what you want instead of trying to get it from somebody who can't get it to you. All right? All right. I'll see you all in the next one.